Greetings, brothers and sisters. Venerable Grand Games Quisitor Bartek here. We convene today with a new series uh, here on the channel called The Beginning. Yes, it's not very visionary. It's not very creative, but it does get the point across. So basically what it is, is the first half an hour or 40 minutes plus of gameplay of games that have caught my eye and I wanted to share with you good folks. These will initially, more often than not, be slightly older productions for a couple of reasons. First off, is the financial aspect. As I am a new and hopefully growing channel, I simply lack the funds to regularly buy new games, which as you know in 2022 can be quite costly and often not worth the price. Therefore, I will be sharing the ones that I have collected in my libraries over the years. But fret not, hopefully with time there will be more current productions featured on the channel. Secondly, I do enjoy older games. It's not just the pure nostalgia, but rather a feeling that games today seem to be more iterative than creative. Um, gone, I fear, are the golden ages of elves, blockbuster video, human decency, and, shortly put, awesome games. But let's hope I'm wrong. All right, with that out of the way, uh, let's, take a look at, let's take a look at Cliff Empire. What is Cliff Empire? It's basically a post-nuclear apocalypse eco-disaster city builder game. It is a mouthful, yeah, but it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, the maker of this is Lion's Shade uh, Studios, and this game was uh, initially launched in 2019, but it's been getting regular updates, the newest of which dropped today, March, uh, sorry, May the 10th, 2022. Uh, what sets this game apart from other post-apocalyptic scenarios is that, um, well, we're dealing with more of a nuclear winter uh, theme here, rather than your typical Fallout-esque uh, barren wasteland, wandering mutants, uh, middle-age technology setback kind of thing. Uh, humanity has survived a nuclear conflict and uh, some of the population was saved uh, they managed to escape earth and uh, live in a in an orbital station um, however those that were unlucky enough to stay sacrificed themselves and erected these massive cliffs for future generations because well uh, repopulation must take place on these cliffs because down uh, above the surface of the earth, there is a radioactive fog preventing human life from thriving. Um, yeah, so uh, let's just play the intro. Uh, let's start a new game. Oh, one more thing. Um, this game has built-in tutorials. I have played it before. I know how to play it. But uh, I'm going to leave these tutorials because they're kind of like baked into the beginning of the game. Uh, we can disable them, but for clarity and for uh, those who want to follow, you know, steps and get a feel for what you have to do, we're, we're just going to leave the tutorials. We're going to go along with them. They're not invasive. They're your pretty uh, average. I mean, they're your pretty standard stuff, you know, build this to build that. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start a new game. Watch the intro and play Cliff Empire. What you have from the get-go are three game modes. First is the sandbox, then it's the default, and then there's the tower defense. Uh, what you can do is you can customize any of these scenarios to fit your fancy. You can uh, click and get unlimited money, whether it's sandbox, default, or tower defense. We're going to be playing the default today with no um, alterations to the um, default settings. Uh, the fun, uh, There's one fun uh, setting here. You can, you can have tower defense. Mm, where you have to basically build your empire in such a way as to withstand uh, increasingly powerful uh, marauder attacks because despite this being a chilled game, yes, you can get attacked 
and you should best be prepared. But let's go with the default setting and off we go. Okay, the first thing that you should notice is that we have usually three, yeah, we got three cliffs uh, to choose from. Uh, they all have names, we can rename them and whatever we want. But if you do not like what you see in the very beginning, you can easily generate a new layout for you. And you can just keep clicking until you find something you like. Now, what I do is I like to have water at least on, on at least one of the cliffs because water means fish and fish is a source of one of the many, uh, one of the few, sorry, sources of, of, of food which helps to keep the populace happy and so on and so forth. You know the drill. So, yeah, let's just click until we have some reasonable body of water. Okay, we have a body of water here on the Heaven Water, actually, is uh, the name of this cliff. And this is where we will be starting. Um, all right, the first thing you need to do is you need to build a storage for your various commodities that will be sent from the orbital station. So we're going to do just that now in order to build anything you just click on a tile click you go to the category of the buildings that you want to build this time we're dealing with industry and storage is right here we're going to put it in rather the center of the map because it's going to play uh well it's going to play like a it's going to be a hub basically and uh it would be best if it were centered around in this map completed Objective completed. Yeah, if it's located in the center of the map, then basically your drones, which you can see here, which are the carriers of all goods and, yeah, all well, goods. Uh, it's just easier for them logistically uh as is standard in city builder games initially you get some resources sent to you we've got some uh foodstuffs over here we have some bottled water we have something called matter it's a very important building block used to build basically anything uh on here mm. and to start off with you get three drones they will get Busy as soon as you give them some work, they will be carrying stuff uh, to and fro, various, uh, various uh, buildings and structures. So okay, now the next thing is we need to get some actual people living in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a landing platform, landing platform that will send us each time in the beginning, fifteen people from the orbital station, provided that you have accommodation for them. So we're going to start off with building a uh, blah, 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 blah. Here, where, 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 where is it? Oh, yeah, it's here. Uh, the landing platform. We're going to buy a landing platform. We're going to fit it somewhere here on the edge of the cliff. Now, what you see here is the little blurriness. It's actually a pretty cool tilt shift effect. But uh, if you don't really like it because it does tend to lose focus and time tends to go crazy from time to time then you can just turn it off in the options okay so just to quickly go over the things that we have here in storage we have matter like i said it's uh, required for building most buildings we have water which is essential for survival we got grain fish grape lettuce salad we got some fruits. These are your food variations. The more of them you have, the happier citizens are. You have uranium, you have batteries, and you have engines. Okay. So this should be completing soon. Yep. Medium construction completed. Fantastic. By the way, I dig the voice. I dig the voice of the announcer. It reminds me heavily of the game Dune 2 by Westwood Studios. Back in the day, strategy game, and there was also a female, a woman announcer that uh, sounded similar to this. So yeah, nostalgia, ding. All right, so we got this landing platform. We can 
start bringing the people in but to do that we need to build them a house so we're gonna build them a house let's build it by the lake so it's nice and clean and uh, they want to come and live here so we can start off with building a house which will house 13 tenants not enough we want we have 15 people incoming with the first shipment with the first transport yeah uh we're gonna build a medium residence it's gonna house 26 people and it consumes four kilowatts of energy which will be our next priority to build some energy but okay let's not get ahead of ourselves let's build this uh, little apartment block and it should be i mean it sh doesn't have to be but it's pretty cool to build it near the landing pad because they have to get from the landing pad to the building on foot at least at this stage of the game later on you can shuttle them but that's gonna be in the future okay quickly yeah you, uh, you also gonna need uh, money money which in this case is called crypto currency Ugh. why I don't know uh, and matter as you can see these are your two main resources used for building no matter what you want to build it's usually uh, crypto and matter okay drones or see this is what I mean this is the blur that it sometimes happens that it's unintelligible but once you move the camera a bit you zoom in you zoom out yeah looks pretty sweet you can't deny you can't deny the climate of this game i mean the visual climate really gets to me medium construction complete all right fantastic so we have the medium we have the medium residence we're going to welcome our new residents which are coming in hot in a jeff bezos like jeff bezos like new shepherd flying phallus Ladies and gentlemen, the penis has landed. And here come our colonists. Hello, colonists. Okay, in the meantime, let me explain manpower and these little things to you. Okay, so manpower it displays the employment rate of the population. Uh, basically, the more manpower you have, the more efficient your buildings are. The more staff they are and the more productive they are okay now objective this completed. thank you objective complete now this uh bar shows you um, the number of residents that are actually in your colony versus this dark gray one it shows you how many places you can accommodate um i mean how many people you can accommodate as you can see remember this little uh medium residence it was 26 tenants 26 here yeah and 15 have arrived with the first transport that's why we have 15 people here now unemployment it says 15 why because well they need to get their slow asses to the place of residence and to work they will start working in the first building that they have which is the storage now we're, it's going to take four workers to go into the storage so it can operate at full capacity the rocket ship has gone off to orbit again. And why is it not operational? Hmm. Here we go. Now it is. Uh, I put it to sleep accidentally. Uh, you do it with right click, by the way. Yeah, so if, if you see this little triple Z sign, you probably might have just clicked um, the right click, the right mouse button by accident, just like I did. All right, so what they want us to do now is to generate a power surplus. Now, what we can do to do that, we uh, can raise, stamp, you know, it's a standard uh, option in uh, sci-fi city builders. You can go for solar with solar panel, solar, sorry, panels, or you can go with wind turbines. Now which uh energy uh production source you're gonna go with depends on your cliffs stats you get it 
you, you, you can uh, take a look at them by pressing the I button here. Soil fertility, matter deposits, you will get to know that once you build a university. Okay, we have groundwater, which covers 42% of the cliff. Sunshine, 32. Windiness, 43. Not ideal. What this means is neither solar power nor the wind turbines are going to be uh, really efficient on this cliff. So it's pretty much, I guess, safest to build a mix of those two. So they can complement each other and they can generate the energy that we need. So we're going to build a solar power station, which is going to give work to two people. It's going to generate 72% of kilowatts. Uh, we're going to build it right here. And at the edge of the cliff, we're going to build a wind turbine field, which again is going to give work to four colonists. All right, let's wait for these buildings to uh, complete. Power supply, as you can see, bottom right hand corner is 100%. Large construction completed. We are, our, our uh, empire <laughs> uh, needs, uh, currently needs nine energy. Uh, we are producing uh, 16 Large construction completed. out of solar panels, and we are producing, completed. and we are producing 17 energy from the wind turbines that means we're getting a charge power of 28 so that means we can now build a battery station a battery station will allow us to use the surplus generated by the wind turbines and solar panels store it uh, in battery form which will be then transported if I remember yeah it'll be transported to the storage and used well, for two things. One is to provide emergency power should we have a blackout or a, f uh, a failure fa failure of um, of the energy making uh, structures, or we can use it at a later time mm, in a marketplace. We can sell it for other commodities, or we can sell it for cash. Uh, so the next step is we're going to build that battery station to power up uh, uh, our stocks of batteries. We're going to place it, I guess, somewhere close to the... Yeah, all right, whatever. Let's, let's place it here, because in the future we might place another um, battery charging station close here, and it's close to the uh, solar panels, Small construction and close to the storage which means the drones won't have to travel that far and will save time okay so we are charging once you click the battery station you can see that their production is ongoing basically we're getting charged from the power surplus from here and we just have to wait patiently now we can wait patiently or we can speed things up uh, we can change the time acceleration. We can have three times and six times the acceleration. We can, of course, pause the game completely to make strategic choices, take a look around, and admire our up-and-coming empire. Uh, I'll take a minute here to just comment personally. I know it's not going to be to everyone's taste, but once this uh, empire grows, this, this little cliff... Uh, gets more buildings and more stuff is going on you, you're gonna notice that it has a very nice and crispy looking aesthetic to it and to be to be honest i, I really enjoy it it's very futurist it's very futuristic it's very clean it's very uh elegant you might even say and it's simply for me pleasant to look at it just gives this uh eco-friendly sci-fi vibe which i personally dig pretty much Okay, back to the battery charging. Mm, yeah, let's speed time a bit. Let's speed time up a bit. Yes, this takes a bit of time. But it's well worth it. Okay. Manpower, 88. Why is that? See, this uh, little uh, figure dropped because we have only 15 colonists right here but 
we have 17 workplaces in total. So that means two are not staffed. So that means some of the buildings, sorry, not this one, but this one. See, it doesn't have all the, all the uh, required workers. That's why they're charging uh, at a slightly slower pace than they would if they were stacked fully. So what we can do is we can get another transport of colonists. Now, in order to do that, as you can see, we have people wishing to settle 15. They're up there in orbit waiting to get their asses down to Earth uh, or at least on top of the cliff and start repopulating if you get my drift. Uh, but they simply don't have enough living space because we have 26 in total. We have 15 colonists already present, so that leaves us with nine free spaces. Now, in order for, in order for uh, the colonists to come in a group of 15, you need to have 15 free living spaces. It's pretty obvious, but uh, when I started playing this game, I just couldn't work out these little meters. So that's why I'm explaining it to you. Please don't feel offended if you're brighter than me and you actually understand it from the get-go. Okie doke. So, we have charged two batteries with our surplus power. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try to secure another vital resource, which is a water extraction uh, station. And... Um, water extraction station is going to be necessary to provide our citizens with drinking water. Let's build it right here next to the water source. Actually, you don't really have to do that because there are two types of uh, water extractors. Uh, one is the one that um, you can place it anywhere, basically. It'll get groundwater, and it'll purify it, and it'll store it. Medium construction completed. Fantastic. And the other one is a water filter, which you have to place at the edge of a water source, such as a pond. We should be extracting water, but again, we're not going to be that efficient because we don't have enough workers just yet. Uh, just take a quick look at um, this little nice option that we have here. Every, well, pretty much every building that you click on, you can upgrade it in various ways. And depending on which upgrade you choose, it'll give you different perks. So, for example, if I choose this one, we're going to have two more workplaces. It's going to consume more energy, yes, but it's going to be more efficient. It's going to extract water quicker. If we choose this one to the right, we're going to have uh, two more workplaces. It's going to consume more energy, but it's going to help us maintain other buildings. Well, they're, you know, HP, safety, and so on and so forth. Similarly, uh, medium residence, we can uh, upgrade it in three ways. We can have an aesthetics upgrade to our empire, which basically improves uh, the mood of our uh, residence. We shoot, I, <laughs> I clicked it by accident. Ah, damn it. Uh, did I? No, I did not. Unfortunately, I did not choose the one that uh, increases the number of. Uh, living spaces for for the colonists yeah damn it um, oh what I actually did yeah it's a solar power station upgrade so what it means is we're gonna get some more see now the building is covered in solar panels it's gonna generate a bit of electricity which goes towards our main electricity uh, power supply so whoop de do okay so this is what's cool about it. It's 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 got this little SimCity SimCity-ish vibe, but here you can actually influence ways in which the uh, the buildings are going to uh, grow, uh, which not only improves the functionality of the buildings itself, but it does change the aesthetics of uh, of your uh, empire. Oh, and one more thing, I really like this feature. Check it out. Since it's all about aesthetics you can change the way the buildings are facing Object without completed. without actually having to demolish them and build them again so this is a nice touch if you want to if you want to just play around with that make the city look as pretty as you want sure why not so yeah pretty cool
Okay, I think we definitely need to get in some more workers because we are severely understaffed. The whole process is taking too long. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build another house to the 13 tenants. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough for now. Okay, so let's build a tiny little house here. Build crop fields. Yes. The more people we have, the more food we have to supply. Now, as with everything, we have a couple of options here. We can build an open field crop. We can build a quadruple field uh, crop. Or we can build a single, or again, quadruple indoor crop field. Now, this is like um, beneficial in the, on cliffs, on cliffs that do not have a good, a good soil fertility, right? Uh, we don't really know about our soil fertility until we build um, uh, the university which researches that. So you can either take a chance and build open crops or you can go with the ones that are covered that are indoor which consume more electricity, but actually mm, guarantee that you have, you're going to have a good yield, see? And, oh, yeah, and the open crop fields, they also boost your ecology, which, apart from aesthetics, is a factor that influences the well-being and happiness of your citizens. So, yeah, I'm going to go with ecology. Yeah, we're all eco, we're doing renewable energy, so let's go with... Let's go with uh, open crop fields. Blam. All right. We need to build three, but we built four in one go. It's a big plot of land. It's a big plot of land. So we're going to get a little surplus of food, which is always good because we can always sell it. The little house that we built here, which allowed more residents to come and staff the buildings that we've already built we can again large construction completed we can already we can also objective completed upgrade them we can upgrade them in such a way that it gives more aesthetic bonus that it generates 12 kilowatts of energy or it actually consumes two kilowatts of energy but provides seven more living spaces uh, so we're going to hold off with uh, improving this one and see what the current situation is once all the people find work there's four people unemployed currently uh we have space for 39 we got three so we got 30 living so we have nine we have nine uh, free spaces if i upgrade this building with seven that's going to be nine plus seven that's 16 so it will actually allow um, more people to come without the need to build completely new buildings so we're going to do that blam we got 46 30 living that means we have a surplus of 16. here we go we're waiting for another transport okay uh the game wants us to build a matter mine which is a core component just to remind you of building pretty much everything so we're going to build a uh, where is it Du, 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 du. Not a uranium mine. Oh god, where is it? Can't find it. I can't find it. Okay, it's in the industry tab. Uh, we're gonna build a matter mine. And we're going to place it again rather close to the depot so that the little drones don't have to travel far and be as efficient as possible. Completed. Excellent. Large construction completed. Looks like a oil rig, but because we're all eco-friendly, it, it, it extracts matter, not oil, because oil is bad for the environment. And it just stinks, basically. Okay, so we're waiting for the matter to be extracted. The matter mine is fully staffed. As you can see, it's, it gives a minus five to ecology. So, yeah, 
it's not all that clean. But again, in the future, if we have enough money and other resources, we can upgrade them to, well, do various things. Let's speed this up a bit. So we can get to our next objective. God, I just love looking at this. It's, mm, it's so pleasing to the eye, at least for me. Very nice, very nice. I dig the fact that you're like building and living above clouds. It's a pretty Mount Olympus godlike kind of scenario. Yeah. Okie dokie. So the next step is we're going to settle more citizens. We have more citizens. Fantastic. And we're going to need to build a town square. Now, a town square is pretty cool because it's an easy, cheap solution for obtaining passive income, which does not require a lot of workforce and energy. So it's going to generate five crypto a pop, a cycle. Uh, yeah, what do you call them? Um... Ah, I can't remember right now, but it's basically going to generate uh, cryptocurrency and it's going to provide our citizens with entertainment. And let's place it somewhere close to our residential area. Yeah, why not? Over here. So they leave the flying penis, they come down this promenade, and they're greeted with a really nice town square from which they can go directly to their homes. Cyberpunkish at times, I would say. Yeah, the style of it is pretty cyberpunkish. I dig, I dig. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, production is going on on Town Square. We get five. Oh, a tick. That's what it was called. Yeah, we get plus five crypto a tick of resources. So that's gonna be. be trickling down slowly we're gonna find have to find other sources of income but that's uh, that's a problem for another day we need to build a maintenance center now the reason we need to build a maintenance center is all industrial buildings require maintenance as the city grows you need to increase the number of maintenance centers with too few your city can have substantial fire risks so by analogy this is basically a fire station but with a pretty cool design and yeah maintenance center uh, monitors the condition of equipment and industrial facilities and has a special station for quick water refilling of fire drones. Yeah, so if there is a fire, which there shouldn't be, at least right now, but if there is, uh, we're going to get firefighting drones to drop water from above. Pretty cool. Blam, 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 and it's Medium complete. Okay. Objective completed. Another core component of the economy is building. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Look at those little firefighting drones. They're so cute. They're so cute. I can't help myself. I'm a sucker for nice graphics. This tilt shift is killing me at times, though. Focus. Focus on the firefighting drones. Bastards. Okay, uh, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, 3D printing facility is a core part of the economy chain. We're going to need that to produce engines and furniture because you know how it is. Settlers initially, they're happy with anything, but as the time goes by, yeah, they want to be more and more comfortable. They want to spend their money. They want to just feel at home in their new home. So we're going to build a 3D printing facility and once you do that you can specify what product will be made within that facility so okay let's go on with choosing our 3d printing facility it's going to provide us with eight people in the workplaces it's going to consume our energy do we have yeah we're gonna have to Bust, boost our uh, energy uh, production pretty soon because uh, we're getting energy heavy um, yeah let's pop it down here I think in the meantime I will do another energy 
the solar power station uh, so as not to run out of energy just yet. All right, pop it down here. Large construction complete. And we have the 3D printing facility. Automated mostly, but still requires people to, I don't know, if not operate, then probably supervise it. You can see the drones bringing in the matter. And what we need is two engines and furniture. So a 3D printing facility can produce engines, appliances, furniture, and gadgets. We need engines. We need furniture. There we go. We're waiting. Again, not operating at full capacity because we don't have the fully staffed. We don't have the uh, facility fully staffed yet. Okay. Let's accelerate time a bit. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Halfway there. I'm actually thinking of bringing in new colonists, but let me see how we're doing with our food stocks. Have they got stuff to Yeah, they still have stuff to eat. We're stacked on gray. We're I'm gonna pretty much I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna build some fishing stations soon um, just to keep them up just to keep them supplied with a variety of foods because this city prestige which uh, is influenced among other things by by the happiness of your um, inhabitants it determines how many people are wishing to settle. So the lower the prestige is, uh, the longer you have to wait for this uh, line to fill up. And actually, if it falls mm, into the negatives, you're going to see people leaving your colony. Where they're going to go? Probably back up in space because life here on the cliff is going to be so miserable that they're going to prefer weightlessness and disgusting my craved food. Uh, right. So let's build another residential spot. We are going to need at least 11 new uh, housing options. This is going to give us 13. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's build that over here next to the one we already have, which is expanded already gives us 20 tenants and yeah we got 29 surplus energy as you can see this fluctuates depending on the time of day and the speed of the wind I guess which is also variable as far as I can tell let's oh yeah oh so satisfying very satisfying indeed but it wouldn't make sense to actually rotate them like this because uh, my understanding is you'd get more wind coming from this open space into the cliff. But I'm no physicist. It's just common thinking. I might be wrong. Drop a comment. Tell me that I'm stupid and it's not how uh, wind turbines work. I don't care. I like how it looks and it's my cliff empire. So I'm going to stick to this direction. Okay. Now, the fun stuff begins. We're going to have to build a marketplace, which in this game is a trading portal. Now, earn crypto. God, I, ugh, I have problems saying it. I just hate crypto. But yeah, we're going to have to earn 50 crypto through the trading portal. First things first, we are going to have to build the portal itself. And... Uh, here we go. This is a trading portal. This is a monster. This is a beast. It's going to take six building spaces, building plots, if you will. 800 crypto and 20 matter, which we currently don't have, actually. Do we? Hold on, hold on. What's this? Do we have 20 matter? No, we actually do not have matter. So, I believe 
a reasonable course of action here would be to place another Mattermine. Which I can't afford because I don't have matter. Oh my god, this catch 22. What to do, what to do? What to do, what to do? Well, what we could do is we can stop production here. Hops, hops. Stop it. Stop the madness. Okay. We're going to disable the building for now. We're going to put it back to sleep. We don't need to produce more furniture and more uh, engines as of yet. And we're going to hopefully use those resources. Come on, drones. Take these resources. Take these resources. No. Nope. Drones are not going to take these resources, but the upside is that they, though the ones that are going to come out from, nope, not this one, but this mine. Yeah, they're going to go straight to the stockpile and they won't go straight to the printing facility, which just use them up like crazy. Yeah, speed things up a bit. Nobody likes waiting for those precious resources. No, 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 no. Time acceleration. Go on. How we doing? Yeah, it should be more efficient during the day. Hopefully. And we really need this matter mine. We really need this matter mine. We need two matter mines. Damn it. We really do. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, why not? Finish off with this one. And once this house is constructed fully, Small construction we're going to construct the second. Here we go. Yeah, it's moving smoothly now. Fantastic. We need eight more. And once we have two of those running, we should be able to speed things up a little bit. That's the thing. So you can't go too crazy with this because if you start to lack one resource, the whole thing, the whole chain is going to come to a grinding halt and you need to backtrack a bit. Well, to make up for the oversight. And it's almost there. Oh, my precious matter mine. Halfway there. Okay, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Because we're going to need money to build a trading portal. And uh, it looks so cool. The trading portal building, it looks like Stargate. And actually have a shuttle coming through it. It looks like it's like warping through a different universe. It is really uh impressive in my opinion so hopefully we can get to that pretty quickly come on yeah it's nightfall matter minds don't operate very well at nightfall could we could we possibly boost their output consumes ecology extract material plus one extract debris we don't need debris Large construction ah good community. now we have two uh mines which are working fantastic let's yeah workplace plus three consumes ecology yeah it makes the ecology situation worse and extracts one more material eh. or we can turn it into a green kind of uh, technology building that actually provides us with plus three ecology at the cost of one kilowatt kilowatt but yeah, okay, let's not let's not meddle with this right now. We have four matter as of now. And how much uh, how many do we need in order to build the trading portal? Twenty. Holy crap. Okay. Manpower 88, workplace, and yeah, it's all going smooth, it's all going smooth. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, uh, if you feel like it, uh, in the comments you could leave suggestions of other games that you'd like to see here on the channel, or maybe some other city builders that you recommend that we could uh, have a gander at here in, in uh, on Games Quisition. And uh, yeah, again, sorry for uh, sorry for those nose noises. It's uh, like I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm having a rough uh, throat infection. It's been killing me. Runny nose, temperature, just feeling all over. Blah. But bear with me. A couple of days, probably gonna feel better. You won't hear me sniffing around so much. Okay, come on, weenie. Those twenty matter. Yeah, 13. Come on, come on. Unfortunately, as with uh, City Builders, sometimes you do have to wait a bit, even, even if you speed the game up. You, there's a bottleneck in the production line. Um, at this point, I'm not sure if I screwed something up that to cause this bottleneck, or if it's simply game design and it's like uh, I don't know premeditated in some way for you to maybe take a look at your beautiful city at night oh those nice shiny lights look at those reflectors here Jesus look at the lights beautiful all right One more, and we can build our Stargate, a.k.a. Marketplace, a.k.a. Trading Portal. Now, where to build it? Where should I build it? Oh, yeah, it also should be pretty close to the Supply Depot, because they need to load uh, these little drones. They need to load the sh uh, trade shuttle with goods from your depot, and to unload the shuttle with goods to your depot. So we're gonna have to build it. Well, we don't got. We don't have to, but we're gonna. We're gonna build it pretty close to our storage unit. And come on, one more. One more matter. One more, oh, finally, okay. We got 21 matters, so we can finally afford the trading portal. Let's choose a location for this bad boy. Look at, oh, look at it, it's so massive. Check it out, it's a star relay. Uh, not really star relay, but it's a, it's a portal, so probably should be pretty hefty. Uh, yeah, pop it down here, pop. Ooh, impressive. All right, come on, come on, come on. Look at it. Look at it. It's the ring of power. Ah! Construction completed. There we go. Huge construction. That's what she said. Huge construction completed. Uh, Kidoki. And now we're going to have to earn 50 crypto from here. So the way we're going to do this is wow i haven't i haven't i haven't checked this out it's changed a bit from the last time i played it uh one time sale okay what have we got in surplus we have got a ton of batteries so let's sell batteries let's sell 10 batteries whoop sale price really we're only gonna get like really we're gonna get Ah, that's that's poor. That's poor. We're gonna get sales price twenty. Where's the? Where is the? Where is the? Where is the? Where's the amount of money that I'm gonna get from this? Uh, sell if more, buy if less. No, that's an if then that. No, I don't want that. One time sale. Yes, I want to sell it. Uh, prior to. Yeah, priori prioritize building for drones. Priority one is this highest. You should probably prioritize the trading portal because once the show gets here, you will definitely need to get that 
you're gonna definitely need to get that um, uh, that shuttle loaded before it flies away, and then you're not gonna get enough uh, credits or whatever the hell you're selling. Um, okay, now what happened here is since the uh, trading portal is very energy heavy, it consumes a whopping 20 kilowatts. As you can see, thank god we have batteries stocked, we have 50 battery consumption. That's pretty heavy. So we're gonna help ourselves with another set of wind turbines. Uh, let's see this way. Okay, hopefully this should help us a little bit with our energy consumption. Energy required is 43. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to show you guys the, the shuttle. This is so cool. Um, come on, show us the shuttle. When are you coming, shuttle? When are you coming, shuttle? This is, this is your typical training point where the barge will arrive in the morning and leave in the afternoon. Okay, so morning it is. Arrive. It is time. It is high time. Please arrive, barge. Here we go. Check it out, guys. Mm. Sweet. Blam. So now, what we should be observing is we should see the little drones carry our batteries onto the barge. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Excellent. And you can do a one-time sale or you can do one-time purchase or you can set up rules that if you have more in stock than X, then you sell. Uh, if you have less than the Y, then you buy. Yeah, you, gotta, you, you can just basically see uh, what you need at the moment or you can set up a rule to for this to be automated, which, trust me, helps in the future uh, stages of the game where you have to manage quite a bit. Uh, thankfully, you can automate most of it, just like with this barge. Okay, now the trick is you should always try to aim to uh, import and export enough Mm, materials for your drones to be able to cope. Here we go, and it's gone. Fantastic. Whoops. Because if it doesn't, you're going to simply lose money. If the drones don't manage to load and unload the barge, you're going to lose money. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, annoying. Good thing is you can build extra drones later on to speed up the process. Okay, so as you can see, the next step in the tutorial slash city building phase is build a pharmaceutical unit and build salad farm again, salad farm to increase uh, the food variety. But um, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that today. Uh, hopefully you guys got the gist of the game. You could uh, listen to the little sound effects that are going on here. You could uh, see the aesthetic of the game. Mm. And, uh, yeah, get a mini feel for it and see if it tickles your fancy. See if it's something you'd like to try out. Uh, at the moment of recording, this game in the U.S., it costs uh, 11 dollars And in uh, the Eurozone, it costs €9.99. It's not going to set you back a whole lot. Uh, my recommendation is, if you like city building games, if you like sci-fi scenarios... If you like post-apocalyptic scenarios, if you like pro-ecology scenarios, give it a go. It, 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 you won't break the bank with this, and since it's being updated, I don't know, it's pretty much once a week or once every two weeks, this game has, uh, has the full support of the developers. Uh, there's a lot more, a lot, trust me, a lot more for you to discover in this game. We simply don't have time for it today. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 
that was Cliff Empire, guys. Uh, before I sign off, just a quick reminder for you guys to do your part to FDA, meaning feed that algorithm. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, obviously. Uh, drop a comment, guys. Uh, you can drop a comment with games that you like to see uh, featured on the channel. Uh, you could give direct feedback about the vid itself, the video itself, or you could just drop in and say hi, whatever you decide to leave, I'd be more than happy to read and to reply. Uh, links to my Instagram and Twitter will be in the description, as will be the link directly to the Steam store, so you can, you can, you can, you can buy this game straight from below this uh, video. By the way, I'm not affiliated, <laughs> I'm just a little... Uh, just a little tiny YouTuber, so I don't get any money for it. This is not sponsored in any way. So yeah, guys, thank you for listening. I'll talk to you next time. Bart account.